I guess the, the reason why we wanted to do an open source workshop is because uh, there's so many students on campus, at least CS students, who are really interested in open source. They use open source every day, they want to learn how to get involved, and they just don't know how. What we want to do actually is give them the right tools for them to be involved into open source. Welcome to the open source bootcamp. I thought it was really interesting. I was, I was hesitant at first because I didn't know how to, how to pull a workshop out of something on scalability, but it, it created a lot of interesting work for me, and I think that it was, more, it was more fun than me giving a presentation with a bunch of slides. Our session today was uh, all about the students working on bugs that are slated to ship in Firefox 6, and they're writing real production code that's going to ship to 459 users when we ship Firefox 6. When we told them what we were going to do, they were all like, oh wow, that's awesome, I'm really excited. Um, like, I, above and beyond expectations, they, they were ecstatic. I think it's awesome that Mozilla wants to be the organization that is the advocate for the open web. And I know that that's kind of a generic term, but the, the fact that their only mission is we want to make the web better, like that just resonates with me and I think a lot of other people too. I think it's great to bring in the community to help with Stanford students on um, understanding these neat concepts, both you know, open source development and also my specialty of security. It's good to remember that we were, we were there once and we used to have all these questions and we didn't we didn't have all the answers. It's nice to come in and show people, you know, this is what really goes on. This is some of the stuff that, you know, you might not necessarily learn. That's going to be really really helpful later on. I mean, I've been using Firefox for years and using all sorts of open source projects when I do my developing, but um, it's it's not exactly clear, you know, what projects actually need help with and how you can quickly get involved and start making useful contributions. So I sent out an email to the CS list a while ago and said, what do you guys think of this open source event? And everybody replied. And so for the last couple of quarters, we've been planning it and, and figuring out how we could do it. And, uh, and Mozilla has been great and sent like six, seven engineers to come and, and do really cool workshops. We demonstrated a vulnerable web application um, to the students. And we taught them about the different security issues. That hands-on experience let them actually realize you know, how an attacker can get into the application. And later when they're building applications themselves, they can think back to these experiences and say, oh, well, this is vulnerable. I need to think about how this is happening. I need to protect with these different security controls. Students were really engaged. Um, we saw them in different classrooms, like, you know, on their computers, hacking. We tried to really give them the tools beforehand so they could have access to the files and really get prepared. So the 90 minutes that they had with the engineers uh, in the room were really like hands-on labs type of work. Running a, a workshop um, without having any slides in advance actually uh, worked really well because we could work directly hands-on with the students and get them working with directly with the code. Some of the best feedback that I got today was where can I go for more information. So that's always an indication that it was a good presentation. I hope we see that more and more. I warn Mozilla that they will see this type of events happening like all over the U.S. to start with and maybe all over the world. We just give the students our time, our tools, and have them enjoy and play with open source.